Greetings. I am Stephanie Ruspin, Senior Lecturer in the Mathematics and Science Department at the H. Laverty Stout Community College and the proud marshal of this our 27th graduation commencement exercise. 2020 marks 30 years of the college's existence and now as we celebrate our beloved students and their successes, it is definitely fashioned in the new norm. With the COVID-19 pandemic came numerous adaptations in the delivery of our educational content and similarly in that of our graduation exercise. So today, while in an unconventional manner, the H. Laverty Stout Community College Board of Directors, the President's Cabinet, faculty and staff, we thank you for joining us virtually as together we celebrate our shining and resilient class of 2020. They may rule our destiny. We ask for wisdom for our people that they may live in harmony and understanding for our children that they may cherish this legacy. Oh, how radiant are your daughters, and how are your sons, your features boast your beauty, and your success is second to none. Green and brilliant are your hillsides, they replenish our hopes and pride. Oh, beautiful virgin islands, your quality. Can never be denied. Oh, beautiful Virgin Islands, your qualities 
can never be denied. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We invoke your presence in this our 27th graduation exercise. We ask, O oh God, whatever will transpire here today will be a blessing unto you. We ask you to continue to bless our students, Heavenly Father, as we move on from this leg of the educational journey to the next. We ask you to continue to bless this institution. Even as we celebrate our 30th anniversary, O oh God, may we continue to rise and continue to move forward. So bless the proceedings this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Jakeisha Rigobot. I'm a proud graduate of the class of 2020 HLSCC. My journey at HLSCC is memorable. That's something I will never forget. Beginning with those long boat trips to Tortola, going to Beef Island to come back home to Virgin Garda late in the evenings was something that took a lot out of me. Sometimes those days I would not even feel like going to town, but I did not give up then. I enjoy going to classes, meeting new people. It was a different environment from the campus here at Virgin Garda. In Tortola, there were many different students with different personalities, and being the only student from VG was something that made everyone interested, wanted to talk to me, get to know me, and feels like what VG was all about. Meeting new people, like in the faculty, I'm a science major, studied general science, focus on anatomy and physiology. Getting the experience to do hands-on with like labs with Miss Pem um what oh, Miss my teacher name again. Oh my gosh Stephanie Raspin. Stephanie Raspin was really awesome. She made sure that we know everything and I told you she made sure she pointed out every single thing. With maths also with trigonometry, Mr. Bacido Thomas. Even though sometimes the class were like, oh my gosh, I don't want to I wanna just leave this class, but it was a good experience. I actually gained a lot of knowledge and mostly in HLSCC, I found myself. I found that what I was in high school ain't the same person who I am today, honestly. And HLSC, sometimes they did break down. There were times like I just wanted to just give up and you know quit the whole school thing, but I did not. I continued pushing. I continued fighting until I made honors, and which I'm really proud of myself. And I kept on pushing. HLSC gave me an idea of who I really wanted to be, who I really want to be in the future, not this girl who just was in high school, just think she had it all together. HLSC showed me that life is full of like mysteries. Anything could happen. COVID showed us that one day your life could be everything just smooth sailing, and the next day could just be a storm on the water. So my experience at HLSCC was really amazing. My dear Virgin Islands people, especially our graduates, a pleasant good day and God's blessings to each and every one of you. Today is a very special day in your life. It marks the end of an important leg in your life's journey and the achievement of your successful completion of your course of study. You deserve a special round of applause because you have been through a lot in the past few years and you have triumphed over every adversity. For many of you, your academic endeavors were complicated by the impact of the 2017 catastrophic hurricanes. But you pushed through in spite of the hardships and difficulties. Again, over the past few months, you were disrupted by the emergence of the coronavirus COVID-19 global pandemic. But COVID-19 did not stop you from fulfilling your mission. I am sure you have now recognized the depth of your strength and your abilities. It is said that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And this makes you among the toughest of them all. Do not doubt or underestimate yourself ever. For many of you, you are standing at a crossroad in your life's journey. You are thinking about careers, jobs, and your future. You are also aware that our territory is standing at a crossroad as well, especially now that we are living under the new regular of living and walking with COVID-19. You would have had a plan when you started your studies, 
and now, the landscape and the environment has changed so much in the last few months. But the future of the Virgin Islands is for the prepared. Your courses of study have been preparing you, equipping you with the tools you need for your chosen career and for life. And for this, we must remember to thank our educators and your parents and all others who have been supporting you along the way, especially Abba, our father. Your government is also doing the work to prepare a future for you. We have been laboring to transform the BVI and to reconfigure the dynamics of our economic space to create new industries, new jobs, and new opportunities for you. We are embracing the use of modern technology, digital technology, smart technology, green technology. At the same time, we are renewing the territory's thrust into agriculture, fisheries and food production, which will create avenues for you in food processing. We are removing the obstacles facing small business and entrepreneurship and encouraging innovation. Now is the time to harness your passion, find your niche and carve it out. I want to remind you also that it is important to stay on a path of continuous development and continuous updating and upgrading of your skills. The professional world is very competitive and you need to stay ahead of the competition, whether the competition is in the BVI or somewhere else across the globe. Technology keeps the marketplace changing all the time and you need to make sure that you stay ahead of all the time. Remember also that your government, your teachers, and your family are supporting you all the way. We want you to succeed. When you excel, the BVI excels. Congratulations on your achievement. May God Almighty continue to light your path, and may your dreams and aspirations come to a reality. I thank you. Okay. My name is Rodan Phillips. My college experience at HLSCC has nothing been a I would say a struggle, but uh, without struggle, once you make it, there's always success in the end, and um, I've been successful, and um, I would tell other students who are coming along the way to just not to give up and to focus on their studies, but also to help people along the way. And I want to thank the teachers and students who have been supportive in my higher educational quest, and just thank everybody for being a part of my HLSCC family. Good day and God's blessings. As someone who lectured at this institution for 12 years and who instructed members of this graduating class, it gives me immense pleasure and a profound sense of pride to congratulate the H. Laverty Stout Community College class of 2020. I applaud the Board of Governors, President, assistant presidents, deans, heads of department, lecturers, supporting staff, and all others for the important role they play in the success of this awesome class. It is my job as minister, along with the job of this entire institution, to arm you with the tools of success. The greatest factor in your successful outcomes is the drive and determination of you, the student. Possessing the will to overcome obstacles and push towards your goals is the dividing line between success and failure. Those individuals who make the best use of the resources around them are doing their part to manifest their God-given potential. This principle was put to the test, firstly with the with the floods of 2017, followed by two of the most terrible storms in history, Irma and Maria. And finally, with COVID-19, the global pandemic that has shut down the entire world. Despite the adversity of the last three years, you pushed through with true determination and grit, shrugging off the lack of electricity, the lack of class space, the lack of in-person instruction, and the lack of many other things. You fought for your success. I congratulate you for that. This is how life is. 
challenges abound, this demonstration of resilience will serve you well into the future. Many of you will seek further education. Some of you will choose to enter the job market. Some of you will choose online bachelor's programs or certificates of study. Whatever your path, recognize your responsibility in making the decisions to best place yourself on the journey towards your goals. You have resources available to you. You have people to counsel you. You have information available to you. Make good use of your resources and stay focused on your goals. Class of 2020, you have achieved what is nothing short of amazing. Take pride and joy in your accomplishments. Celebrate your every victory, but do not take your eye off the prize. Now is the time to demonstrate your hunger for your destiny. Now is the time to uncage the tenacious spirit within, relentlessly pursuing your purpose. Be inspired to even greater plateaus in your ascension to your place in society. Class of 2020, go forward and be great. I thank you. Hi, I'm Shamoy Davis, and I'm a recent student here at the H. Labadee South Community College with an associate's degree in culinary arts. And I want to give a special thanks to my director, Mrs. Keisha Davis Barnes, and my two teachers, Mr. Imran Ashton and Mr. Clint Cricky, for the excellent and phenomenal job that they did in making my culinary dreams come true. Thank you. Congratulations to the H. Lavity Stout Community College's Class of 2020. Today, you join a fellowship of travelers, many of whom have gone before you in a line winding back the last three decades into the last millennium. A party of wanderers and explorers, a body of alumni I am proud to count myself among, who have been working hard in our own ways to improve the quality of life of humanity in general and the people of this territory in particular. Stand up and be counted. Graduations celebrate an important milestone they are that moment when we say that these persons, capped and gowned in the celebratory regalia, emerge better equipped than they entered to make a measurable contribution to civil society. That has never been more true than today. The world faces numerous inscrutable challenges, wars, climate change, bigotry, systemic inequity, and many more troubles still to come. Simply put, the territory, the world needs you. It needs you more than ever before. Our founding chairman loved a particular piece of scripture and he was incredibly fond of quoting it. I'm sure you've heard it time and time again, but it does not lose its value by me repeating the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 29 Verse 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Today, our vision is 2020. Look around you. So much has happened this year outside of our foresight. By the end of January alone, enough happened to fill a year's worth of crises. The novel coronavirus had already begun its silent and invisible march towards instigating a global pandemic. The United Kingdom left the European Union. The United States and Iran flirted with open war. Bushfires raged in Australia. South Africa struggled with a drought that severely threatened the food security of that region. Dozens of countries experienced civil unrest and the American president was impeached. Almost none of this was expected. But as technology and open markets continue to shrink the world, we have learned only too well that what happens in a market in Wuhan matters in Lagos, matters in London, matters in New York, matters in Hong Kong, matters in the British Virgin Islands. COVID-19 has taught us that, we cannot, that what we cannot see can kill us. So vision requires imagination, 
but also bravery. Once you have envisioned the future you wish to live, lean on that quiet strength in your spirit that sustains. Rely on your faith to guide you through the challenges that will surely come your way. And remember that the same dust spinning out there among the stars is inside of you. Nothing before you is outside of your orbit. Once you can visualize it, you can realize it. What is for you can never not be so. You, class of 2020, have demonstrated the true meaning of sacrifice and resilience. The obstacles have been many, but you stand proud today, knowing you have overcome them all. But you did not arrive here alone. To all the parents, friends, family, and community members who supported our graduates through their time with us, and especially throughout the recent pandemic, accept our collective thanks for bearing our students up when times were at their toughest. Times were tough for the college as well, but I am happy to say that this proud institution is turning a corner out of recovery into discovery. This year, we invested in our workforce division and our investments are paying dividends already. Our renovated culinary institute has graduated three proud chefs. Our marine center transplanted the first 54 mangrove seedlings from its mangrove nursery. And the first cohort from our ma uh, marine professional training program went out into the world of work. We have taken an aggressive approach towards institutional advancement. And thanks to our work there and collaborations with various partners, we are creating opportunities for our students and for the wider community. We are also grateful for all the support we have received from our corporate friends and funding organizations. I have to give special thanks here for the support of Unite BVI, Nagico, Smithscore, CCT, and others. I'm happy to announce today also that our research database partner, EBSCO, has recently granted the college a $50,000 grant to install a solar array on the roof of our Learning Resource Center. We are thankful for all the support received and that we continue to receive in realizing our mission. But today, Class of 2020, this is about you. You have earned the right to celebrate your accomplishments. You have done it in a way that has never been done before. All you've done this year is make history. But do not prolong your celebrations, for there is work to do. And this end is really a beginning. Tomorrow, you see, this chapter will be closed and you will embark on your next journey, a journey of your own making and design. I challenge you then to continue to work hard, to continue to be resourceful and adaptive, to be willing to be uncomfortable and to ask the difficult questions of yourself and others. I challenge you not just to make something of yourselves, but to make something new and glorious of this world. I wish each and every one of you well in all your worthy endeavors, and I wish you Godspeed. Thank you. Hi, my name is Elisha Samuel, and I'm a part of the graduating class of 2020 of HLSCC. Yes, I enjoyed my time here. It was a little challenging between traveling between Virgin Gorda and Tortola, but I've made it, and I'm finally here. Good afternoon. H. Lovely Stout Community College currently offers two levels of certification. The Certificate of Achievement comprising a minimum of 15 credits and the Associate Degree comprising a minimum of 60 credits. 121 students formed the HLSCC class of 2020 with 15 students from Virgin Gorda and 106 students from the Parakeeta Bay Campus. In total, 14 certificates of achievement and 111 associate degrees are being awarded with 10 students graduating with multiple certifications. From the class of 2020, 19 are graduating with honors, 11 cum laude, 3 magna cum laude, and 5 summa cum laude. There are 15 Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society members graduating 
with 13 of those full members and five provisional members. The top two programs for 2020 from which our students are graduating are general science and business administration. It is with great pride that I present to you the HLSCC class of 2020, a hardworking, determined, tenacious, resilient, and triumphant class. Congratulations on a job well done. A warm good afternoon to distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family and friends, the entire viewership, and last but certainly not least, the graduating class of 2020. My name, as mentioned, is Vincia Peter, and I would like to thank you all for providing me with the opportunity to represent you today. I would like to begin by thanking my parents for being there for me throughout this journey. I would not be who I am today without your continued guidance, encouragement and support. I also acknowledge the family and friends of all the graduates for their continued support as it is needed and certainly very much appreciated. In the two years that I attended HLSCC, I would say that it was pretty consistent. I would go to the campus, attend my classes, take a break in the lounge, study in the library. You know, everything that you would expect the life of a full-time college student to be. Many of the other graduates share the same experience, while others balance working while attending school. I believe that we can all agree this was wonderful. Despite the stress from time to time and pressure to meet deadlines, it was an overall enjoyable experience, as we all knew what we signed up for by embarking on the journey to seek a higher education. The social aspects of meeting new people and making new friends from shared classes and clubs were also amazing, expected parts of the college campus experience. I vividly remember my friends and I having fun practicing for drama or doing a quick review for an upcoming exam right under the campus tree, a favorite hangout spot for many. This semester, however, things took an unexpected, unprecedented turn as we were suddenly introduced to the world famous coronavirus. While I was preparing to give this speech, I found a quote by Arthur Max McKeown, and I found it to be quite fitting for this occasion. It says, adaptability is the powerful difference between adapting to cope and adapting to win. I will repeat that. Adaptability is the powerful difference between adapting to cope and adapting to win. Graduates, big up yourselves. We have adapted and we have won. The year 2020 brought change for us, not only in our usual lifestyle, but also in the way that we learned. The change, of course, was brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, and so online learning became what was coined our new normal. Through conversations with classmates and friends, I know that many of us struggled with the new system. Many, including myself, prefer face-to-face -face interactions. And so at times, it felt difficult to stay 100% tuned in as we listened to our teachers through our devices. Although we were at home, under lockdown, with nowhere to be and nothing else to do, the work somehow felt tenfold what it was before. Nevertheless, we persevered, putting in the extra time and effort needed to carry out given tasks. Our teachers were also very understanding under the circumstances and were readily available to us. For that, we say thank you. All of this, however, is not surprising. Nothing less should be expected, as this was an unforeseen change and we suddenly had to refocus and recommit our effort to this new normal, adapting to our changed lives. Change, it's inevitable a phrase that I believe we hear quite often. We do not, however, often hear the follow-up that is, growth is optional. This brings me to a short story called The Elephant's Rope by A.M. Marcus. Listen closely. A gentleman was walking through an elephant camp and he spotted that the elephants weren't being kept in cages or held by the use of chains. All that was holding them back from escaping the camp was a small piece of rope tied to one of their legs. As the man gazed upon the elephants, 
he was completely confused as to why the elephants didn't just use their strength to break the rope and escape the camp. They could have easily done so, but instead, they didn't try to at all. Curious and wanting to know the answer, he asked a trainer nearby why the elephants were just standing there and never tried to escape. The trainer replied, when they are very young and much smaller, we use the same size rope to tie them, and at that age, it's enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe that they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never try to break free. The only reason the elephants weren't breaking free and escaping the camp was that over time, they adopted the belief that it just wasn't possible. Graduates, do not be like the elephants. As the world changes around us, we can either choose to remain stagnant, forever tied in place, or we can take strides of progression learning to adapt to our new realities and take the changes in life as opportunities to better ourselves. Truthfully, change is one of the only constants that we will have in life. As such, I urge you, my fellow graduates, to remember the quote that I told you. I want you all to continue to adapt to win rather than simply to cope. The fact that we have made it here today under these circumstances, each passing our classes during this difficult semester, proves that we can indeed adapt to win once we put our minds to something and set our goals. When we leave HLSCC, we will all go our separate ways, and once again, our lives will change. Some of us will go on to university to acquire the next degree, while some will enter the workforce. Whatever it may be, the change will be considered our new normal. Wherever we go from there will also be our new normal, and that too may change suddenly. Therefore, as we go through life, I want us to do our best to grow in new environments, remaining determined and disciplined. The pandemic itself has taught us that we should expect the unexpected, as the world will not wait for us to be ready to make a change. We must adapt, accepting these changes as they come, while working towards a better and brighter future. May God bless you, and thank you for listening. Here is Augustine.
Sienna Dawe Phi Theta Kappa. Keisha Dawson Deandre Durant. Anton Jackson. Rosamond Lloyd. Aldet Penn. Potter fight a per couple.
Shelly Richardson. Sabrina Samantha Stewart Kamlade Fighter for Kappa Corporate Award recipient from Ernest and Young Accounting Firm. Michelle Smith. Moy Brumant. Vidalia Charles. Gordon. Yeah. 
Tamisha Fret. Jamal Herbert. Nesmet Paul.
Naomi Purcell fighting for Papa. Silver Marlene Freeman. Alia Malone. Theo Thomas. Malone. Tonika Amor.
Junette Daly. Nalene Lake Lane. Kiera Robinson. Sophia Singh. Renal Coram. Nisha Christiana Otto. Magnum Cum Laude, Faite Pacapa. Alicia 
Bowens, cum laude, faite per capa. Kamari Bowers Angelique Brown Akeda Charles Alina de Bois, come Lord, a fight for Capo. Tisha Davis. Davis, Talia Davis. Gordon, cum laude, fight it for Kappa.
Jessica Gordon. Shante Henry. Dariel Jack. Amal John Shamika Lanford, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Tepa Kappa, President's Award for the full-time student achieving the highest cumulative grade point average. Lewis. Grace Uyutunje, Magnum Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. Keisha 
Bob's Fight Paper Couple. Shanik Sully, Magnum Cum Laude, Phi Tepa Kappa. Davian Tapper, Cum Laude, Phi Tepa Kappa. Travis Thomas. Angelica Washington.
trying to for Kappa.
Christine Stevens. Shawani Glasgow. Keisha McFavius. Raheem Barrett.
Marianne's Parish. Joshua Langford.
face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you.